finally, we are at the New Republic article. First time I'd ever been on this web page. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, the title, uh, you know, the pictures we've discussed, I, you know, unless that video has been taken down, but we discussed the pictures. Uh, that's Long Beach. How'd that work out for you? That was the transvestite story. Looks like um, Fort Myers, definitely forts in Georgia. Greenville, Ohio, that looks like Brinkman, Brinkman, okay, and Murphy, Texas. And then we also discussed that Murphy, Texas had the same shirt and all their economic ramifications, you know, and, and you know, still can't believe that Chris Hansen rode a train into New York. Oh, that must have been horrifying. That must have been horrifying. Chris Hansen is back to catching predators. <laughs> They throw a basic title, nice, to the point, looks like, uh, oh, what's that shit called? Oh, God. Uh, done in a nice, what appears to be Helvetica? Or it could be Ariel. It kind of has a, kind of has an Ariel feel, doesn't it? Yeah, that doesn't feel like Helvetica. It feels like an Ariel. That rip-off bullshit. But then again, Calibri. Eh, so, you know, they're just trying. Anyway. This is the article. Only this time, there's no NVC, just a star. <laughs> and his crowdfunded crew. <laughs> oh, I just caught it myself, dude. I just, I just did the right hand lean, and I just, I just leaned over and cried because I, <sighs> I did not contribute. I'm so ashamed. I'm gonna make up for it, man. I'm gonna make up for it. Okay, October 18th, 2015. Nice, man. Now, this was the guy who was interviewed by the other guy. Now, obviously, this is a hyperlink, so we'll uh, we'll just right-click and open link in the window. Oh, you son of a bitch! God damn it! Ah, oh, shit. It's not what I wanted, god damn it! New tab, you cocksucker. Fuck! We discussed these guys. Some of these guys don't deserve to be. They just don't deserve to be here. Man, there's better guys you could have chosen. Anyway. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't. You know. Finally, video four. Jesus, you fucking asshole. You're finally getting to the freaking article that I clicked here for. Jeez. In mid-August. Okay, August of 2015. The police department in Fairfield. Oh, oh, I can't even select little words. Oh, you. Oh, man. You, you know, this is just, this is going gonna, gonna to ruin me, Chris. <laughs> this is, is going to ruin me. This is going to ruin me. In the middle of August 2015, because the article was posted, October, so August, September, October. And October 1st was when the ship went down. So, August, half of August, a full month of September. So, obviously, Ron Knight was involved in the planning of this because he knows law enforcement, okay? He happens to know law enforcement. He probably said, well, if you want to fuck with the cops, you, they need a month and a half to get their shit together. So, that's what I'm thinking, you know, because why mid-August? Why not January? Why not March, you know? In the middle of August, the police department in Fairfield, Connecticut, received a most unusual phone call. <laughs> I bet they did. Yeah, finally, the first phone call that didn't hang up, but they found it was about Hanson, you know? Oh, how quickly they turned their backs. Those scumbags. Those scumbags. Anyway. Uh-oh, hold on. i got to publish something. Jesus. All right, back at it. Okay. Uh, Hanson informed the department. Oh, I can't. Okay, I gotta drag. Oh, I can't even drag and drop. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's gonna rob me. That he was setting up a sex sting in Fairfield that would mirror the operations he became famous for a decade. 
decade ago with one key difference. This time, he was going at it without the backing of a major or any television network. It was just Hanson and his small team of producers, technicians, and security personnel. Yeah, Ron Knight. I bet Ron Knight was there, man. I bet he was. I bet he was. He's got to be, man. He's the one. He's like the John Lennon to, uh, what's it, John Lennon to uh, uh, Hanson's McCartney, you know. The K.K. Downing to Hanson's, oh, God, Glenn Tipton. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Okay, so they call the cops and say, holy shit. Now, that's kind of holding the cops hostage. You don't want to really do that, you know. So, you know, oof, oof, pretty tough, man, pretty tough. To Fairfield's deputy police chief, okay, the operation appeared well underway. Okay, I can't highlight. Oof. You know, should I at this point? I, have we? No, we've not even gotten to the photograph. Maybe after the photograph, I'll, I'll copy it over to Word. But this is how I, so this is, somehow I was skimming over this. And when I hit the photograph is when I stopped. I was like, okay, I've, I've, whoa, this is crazy. All right. So to the, to the police chief, uh, the deputy police chief, it's already underway. Okay, as Hanson named the project. Oh, Hanson vs. Predator. Okay, and that's the Kickstarter again. Okay. Uh, had quietly... <laughs> quiet... Oh, God, my highlighting abilities are so impaired. Oh, my gosh. Quietly scouted for a staging house in town and had already courted an array of putative predators. What?! That's a new word. Oh, I'm totally looking that shit up. Hold on a second. Poot a tiff. Poot a tiff. Okay, let me do that real quick. Poot a tiff. Is that a real word? Poot a tiff. Putative. Yeah, putative. I knew it. I mean, I'm just doing it for spelling. Putative. Okay. Generally considered or reputed to be. Oh my god. You finally cracked potential predator and turned it into putative predator. Oh my gosh. Genuinely considered or reputed to be the putative father of a boy of two. A boy of two sons or a boy of two years old. Probably a boy of two years old. The putative Putative predators. Oh, that's, 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 oh, you're so going into my lexicon. Oh, I got you now, putative. Oh, you're all mine. You're all mine, putative. Putative predators, man. I'm all about the putative predators. Yes, genuinely considered or reputed to be predators. Yes, Stephen Buchanan is a putative predator. Oh, my God. That guy was on the hiring list to be a cop. Did you know that? No, you didn't, because I took that goddamn video down because my cursing was so crazy. I took it down. That's not... I'm, I'm, I just don't do crazy cursing. But that, that led me to some cursing, man. That asshole. That guy. That fucking guy. That rising star. Oh. Anyway, here we go. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not the same if I don't have the highlighting. God damn it. Hold on. <sighs> Corded. Okay. Corded. Oh, oh, that's right. I was reading it from a uh, Word document. Oh, yes. Oh. My goodness of gracious. Hold on, let me get oriented. Putative. Okay, there we go. Putative. Ugh. 
same article just I had to put it into word you know but don't get don't get it twisted we're gonna look at that picture again you know putative predators nice that word wow you know I don't know that's that's way out there anyway okay Hanson versus predator God bless God bless would follow the familiar format Hanson's crew <laughs> and they Hanson's crew. Oh, they belong to no one but Hanson. But really, he's, you know, eh, I don't know how to let it go, man. You know, it, you know, but whatever. Hanson's crew would pose online as underage. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, luring the predator. Please, please lure men to the house. Rigged with hidden cameras. Ready to record. Hanson's Confrontation. Oh, there's another title. Hanson's Confrontation. With them and their arrests. Police chief said that it seemed clear the sting was going down. <laughs> With or without. <laughs> oh, God. That's why guys like me got to give to the second to the second round, you know. With or without the police department's help, but it would be involved in the arrests and the publicity if it wanted. Oof, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. That's a very tough call. Hanson Sting posed a set of difficult decisions. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Difficult decisions for the police department, the chief said, deputy chief said. Fairfield had never, ever conducted such an operation and had not identified the online solicitation of underage partners as a particularly large problem facing the community. Now, come on now. I'm getting a slant off of this article. I don't think I'm liking the undertones, man. <laughs> I, You know, in the words of Joseph Myrick, steer clear of the undertones, okay? I'm not, I'm not liking the undertones of this article. Okay, because he said the solicitation of un underage partners. Did you partners really partners? Is that what you're calling them? How about victims? Okay, the underlying <laughs> solicitation of underage victims. Okay, as a particularly large problem <laughs> in the community. <laughs> Not only. Oh, you son of a gun. Not only would Hanson's group be attracting potentially dangerous men. <laughs> oh, oh, Joseph Buchanan? Yeah, that son of a gun. Thank God. Hey, hey, police. He was on your hiring list. He was on your hiring list. So tell me that's not potentially dangerous. Into your police department, okay? Into your place. Hey, where were you at, guy? Yeah. Thank God for HVP. But Hanson's brand of reality TV had been proven dangerous in the past. <laughs> dangerous to those who are guilty. In November 2006, in Murphy, Texas, an assistant district attorney who was a fraud and a lie, okay? That guy, that guy, while being confronted by a local, local SWAT team, while Hanson's crew, see Hanson's crew again, again with Hanson's crew. Hey, now, at, at that other bust, that was, uh, yeah, that was Dateline NBC, you know, <laughs> NBC again. What's up, NBC? Waited outside his home to catch a predator. Was ultimately canceled. Yeah, by Dave Corvo, that son of a gun. Yeah, you'll come back. You'll come back.
And in 2008, NBC paid Conrad's family an undisclosed sum. Now there's that. Take a screenshot of that. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oof. At the, ugh, I ain't got time to cut and paste those goddamn quotes. We thought long and hard about this, said the deputy sheriff. But deputy police chief, I'm sorry. Deputy police chief, get it right. Get it right. But at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, we completely understood that this was going to happen. <laughs> No matter what. And I tell you this, man. You Let all of the others go. Okay? Let all, let all the rest of them go. Let them go. Let them go. Catch and release. Okay? Oh, but this guy... Let's see if we can, we can draw his picture. But this guy... He was on your goddamn hiring list, okay? He was on, granted, number 100, okay, whatever, but he was on your hiring list, okay? This guy, this guy, he got caught at this house with a goddamn black bag and a duct tape and some frickin', what was it, a gun? <sighs> And something else, okay? There were three items I remember. And a, uh, imagine him, imagine him pulling over your daughter and her friend and, a, quote, arresting them. Yeah, red taillights in a deserted dirt road in the goddamned woods, okay? Hanson versus Predator, I don't care what anybody says. The haters, man. The haters, okay? That's what I say. That's what I say. This guy, okay, ain't going to get a badge and a gun, okay? Holy goodness of gracious. I took, I took the video down because it was just too, too much cursing, too much swearing. This guy. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. That's some scary stuff, okay? So anybody wants to put it down or not contribute or talk shit or, or God knows what, you say what you want, okay? But this guy, okay, ain't going to pull your daughter over, okay, with handcuffs. That's flipping crazy. And that we really had a responsibility to become involved, okay, and to ensure this neighborhood was safe, okay? So, yeah. Oh, and I'm going to do a separate study on the neighborhoods that lie off Mill Plain Road. Let me tell you something. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beautiful. I, from aerial, from aerial view, pools that are bigger than your house, dog. I'm serious. More square footage than you poor slobs could even imagine as you fight it out trying to trying to make it in a in a collapsed real estate market. Nah, dude. Nah, man. Olympic sized pools. Tennis courts, dude. Oh my god. Swimming pools, movie stars. That's it there's some shit out there. And trust me, those neighborhoods are nowhere near where the trap house was. So I'm gonna say it right now. Okay, I'm gonna say it right now. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. So, uh, yeah, so the neighborhood was safe. Okay. Yeah, Hilton Daniels, man. All the officers were safe. <laughs> Anybody get hurt by takedowns? That's Chris. He said, he, Chris Hansen interviews Hilton Daniels. Anybody get hurt? And, he said, and as, as soon as Hansen says hurt, Hilton Daniels says no. By takedowns? And then, <laughs> and then Hansen continues. By takedowns? And then Hilton comes straight back. All the officers. Or no, he's like, 28 arrests. All the officers are safe. <laughs> two completely different perspectives. And I don't, when I say two, I don't mean like it was like Hanson's perspective was on protecting the predators. Hanson's perspective was on dudes getting their arms broken. <laughs>
<laughs> and Hilton Daniels is like, all the officers are safe. <laughs> And, dude, you that's how you've got to be. If you're going to be the chief of other police, number one, you've got to have your priorities in order. Okay, back... I was almost said to the chat, but, you know, back to it. Okay, beginning October 1st. Oh, yeah, I nailed it, man. I nailed it, yeah. Document these dates and times. I'm telling you, man, these, these, these web articles are going to go away. The Internet is not permanent, man. It flips, and then it flops, and then it's gone. And you're like, what? why can I not get to this web page anymore? Yeah, that's called not saving shit. And put it in a Word document. Don't trust those MHT files. They're full of shit, man. They're full of shit. I've learned that the easy way. Okay, anyway. Hanson's camera crew. Let's just say... Hanson's crew, <laughs> yes, camped out with police for four days at a decoy house in an undisclosed Fairfield neighborhood. Ah, oh, now you, we all know from the other article, it's in the other videos, that it's uh, Mill Plain Road, beautiful stretch of like 20 miles of highway. Beautiful area, man. Holy goodness of gracious. Quote, Every time I thought I've seen every possible scenario, something else comes up. <laughs> Said Hanson. Oh, this is, this is right. This is the guy who interviewed Hanson directly. Okay? So this guy, this guy was the one that was interviewed by the previous guy. You know, so double journalistic whatevers, and I am I'm good with that. I'm good with no problem, no problem at all with that. So Hanson actually said, every time I thought I've seen every possible scenario, something else comes up. Well, you know, Chris, I'm going to challenge you on that. Okay, you did not see the hammock takedown. Okay, the hammock, man, the hammock predator interview. If you get a predator into the hammock. Yeah, now that and then have a hammock takedown. <laughs> then, then I would agree with you and say that well, you know, something else comes up. Uh, says Hanson, whom I, who is, uh, oh goodness, who is, the, oh goodness. So says Spencer Woodman. Okay, so said Hanson, with whom I, Spencer Woodman, interviewed. Okay. By phone. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just this is this is this is not gonna dude, this is gonna build me up, Chris. This is gonna build me up. <laughs> it's gonna build me up, Chris. This it's gonna make me, Chris. This is gonna make me. <laughs> Who I, Spencer Woodman, interviewed by phone about the Fairfield Sting. Quote. You just have to be prepared at every level. Hansen said one man showed up with a gun in his car. That's that, that, uh, got Joseph Buchanan? Yeah, 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 Joseph Buchanan, that guy. He's the guy who got $1.1 million in bail because everybody it was just like, oh, Jesus, dude, oh, Jesus. And then it comes out, <sighs> he was in line to be a cop. In, in in that area. Oh my God. Pfft, say what you want. Okay. Say what you want. Hanson prevented something very, 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 very bad from happening. Okay. Prevented it. With a gun in his car. Another, when confronted by Hanson and his cameras, said he knew him from commuting on the Metro North train. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Too much. You know, I, I just... I know, I know. We want fast moving, fast paced, uh, but 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 this just causes me to pause. This causes me to pause. Oh God. 
Which, <laughs> oh god, now I gotta break out that other slideshow and just start going through which of these predators knew Hanson from the train. Oh, I think we're gonna find out. I really do, because because they said there's two Fairfield residents, and I bet if you you know if you track the train from, I'm assuming Stamford, because Stamford is close to New York. If you look on the map, if you remember from the map. Oh. My God. And why would you know Hanson from the train? Because you were commuting to... Uh, we'll start with, start with the, the radius, okay? Yeah, you know, you start with the radius, and you start working your way back. So the radius is New York City. So which one of these predators worked in New York City? If there's none, you start stepping back to the major stops on the trains, and you will just... just <laughs> You'll bracket it, 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 it in. Oh my God! <laughs> no, Chris, don't do this to me. <laughs> Stop! I'm not ready for this. I am not ready. I am not ready. Wow! This I've been abusing this phrase, Chris. This this will ruin me, Chris. It's my own made-up kind of phrase based on the dude from the New Jersey beach. Who had to go get his wife from work? Oh God! How did it, it, did she ever get home? Did she ever get home? This will ruin me, Chris. No, Chris. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> he knew him from the train. I just did that video. I just did that video. Oh, 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 oh! I'm telling you, people. Get ready. Get ready. I'm telling you. Have your credit cards out when it comes time to swipe again on the second Kickstarter. Because <laughs> this right here, man, this alone is enough. Oh, I could feed off of this for years. No, Chris. Please don't do this to me. I, it, the previous article that I had quoted, I thought it was no dash Chris. Like, no, Chris. Here it runs out. It's, all, it's Chris Hansen, right? No, he didn't recognize him from TV. He recognized him from commuting on the Metro North train. I just did a video on that train. I just did a walkthrough. We, Oh, HVP, you are gangster shit. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. Oh, let me read it again. Oh, God. One guy with a gun in his car. That was Joseph Buchanan. Another, when confronted by Hanson and his cameras. Oh, I hope to goodness they did maintain the boom mics because those are the subliminal power that really just takes it to the level. If not, you'll get them next time, man. You get it. You, the boom mics. You got to have the boom mics, man. Oh, I got two minutes, and I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, just oh, I could two minutes. How about eight hours? I could just spend eight hours just repeating this phrase. No, Chris, please don't do this to me. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't wait to find out who that predator was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> no, Chris. Uh, this this takes it to another dimension. It takes it. I thought it was. No, Chris. Uh-uh. It wasn't that at all. No. Chris, please don't do this to me. Oh my god, we've done this video. We've done the train video. Oh, I am I am just wow. I am not prepared for this. For this. I am I am I am very humbled. Um and I'm wrapping up this two minutes. I wanna post this video and then we just keep on with the keeping on. Oh, we're gonna continue this article. What an incredible we have not even gotten to the picture I don't think because I just you know we'll find out because you know I had to put it in here because I've got to highlight I'm sorry okay sorry New Republic <laughs> I got to highlight and I got you know if, if the time comes maximize fonts change fonts oh let me change this to some Tahoma oh yeah what do you know about Tahoma huh no try this bold Boom. 
Oh, no, wait a second, my bad. Oh, you son of a gun, you got me, you got me. Hold on, 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 hold on. Tahoma, bold. Boom, there it is. No, Chris. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a return, return. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove you because we're coming down. There it is. Seriously needs to be on its own sheet, its own page. No, Chris. <laughs> Wait, let me put a. Okay, I got to do this, dude. I know, Chris. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> and just for because we're on a new page, this is modern punctuation here. We're doing okay. We're really pushing the limits here. We're pushing the limits. Uh, it is not my business to jump into uh, a journalist's article, okay? But I'm jumping in now because for the sake of whatever. And then I'm going to go arrow, and then I'm going to go put him up to, oh, 16. Yeah, 16 is the good one. <sighs> let's let's just, let's, let's uh, let, me, let me come down here, put the, put the cursor away. There we go. No, Chris. With the first sentence. <laughs> no, Chris. <laughs> Please don't do this to me. <laughs> Boom! Oh, and to think New York was stolen from New Jersey. That's my that's my thinking. When I look at the lines, nah, somebody cheated. Somebody cheated New Jersey. And we only, we need to look at the history between those two states and then throw in a little bit of Connecticut. God only knows. But I'm talking, when I say history, I ain't talking the 60s. I'm talking the 1760s, man. I'm talking 1860s. I'm talking how were these lines drawn up and how was it that an island and a city became part of another state that really, it, by logic, if you look at it, it belongs to New Jersey. No, Chris. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> I myself have drugged my fat ass across his kneecaps, in theory, and said nothing and looked out the window as a joke on a video. I had no idea. No, this is not what I saw. Or not what I not what I saw, not what I read. What I had read in a different article, it was a Fairfield article, it said that a predator said, No, Chris, and then ran out. They did not say, No, Chris, please don't do this to me. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, dude, this is an all nighter. Oh, what time is it? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's two thirty eight. Oh, this is we haven't even gotten to the picture. Oh, hype it, hype it, hype it. Tell everybody, get your get your credit cards ready. Get your credit cards ready, okay? That's all I'm saying. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. Those who want their coffee mugs and their T-shirts, trust me, it's it's the second wave is going to make those happen, okay? Just don't, don't bust his balls about the December time frame for the shirts. Just trust me on this, man. I, trust me. I am one who knows, you know? <laughs> Please, Chris. Don't do this to me. <laughs> it's going to ruin me, Chris. It's going to ruin me. Oh, my God. Where is the pause button? I got to get out of this. Oh, my gosh.